Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My wonderful brothers and sisters, let us take a look at one of the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ayah min ayatillah. We pass by certain uh, events in our life and just as it's another day. But in reality, I'm not going to talk politics and I'm not going to uh, be uh, a politician here. But in reality, I want to look at what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Holy Quran. Means, verily, the oppressors, they would see what type of a turn their affairs it would take. And I can't help but diving deep into what happened to the ex, ex president of the United States. Sometimes we say ex wife, but ex wife could become excellent wife for someone else. But this ex-president of the United States, when we look at certain things that we could talk hours and hours and write books about what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did for this arrogant creature. But today, just for a few minutes, let us just take a look at what happened. In the Day of Judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would call Al-Zalim, the oppressor, and would say, to the oppressor, actually we call the those who are oppressed al madlum ya madlum taqaddam oh who you are oppressed come forward and ya zalim and the oppressor la tatakallam do not talk so sometimes when we think about that we can't grasp or imagine that maybe event but look what happened in this life. United States supposed to be one of the greatest or the strongest, uh, most powerful country in the world. Who's the president? Trump, the most powerful, supposedly, man in the world. He get stripped out of his power. This is by Allah. Stripped, like taken from uh, deep of his heart, the deepest in his heart. Stripped, okay, again, I'm not talking politics, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, does mention that Allah stripped people out of power. Not only that, you see all what he did in the last four miserable years of his uh, fooling around and arrogance, and you will think that no way, no way he would lose power. He is on for another eight, four years. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us this sign that by Allah, where everyone did not expect that he would win, he did win against Hillary. And now that by all what he did, he got stripped out of his power. And to look at this also, it shows what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the oppressor. La tatakallam. La tatakallam means shut up. Not only Biden told him several times on air live, shut up. No, not only that. When they strip him out of Twitter, strip him out of all type of... Uh, podium to speak and to shout and to bark with respect to dogs right and respect to you all you see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling him shut up in this life before the hereafter well a, a guy in a hot dog stand he could talk in twitter he could talk in whatever right but this the president arrogant powerful he got shut up and this is a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All his power, position, millions, billions, does not help him to say one word. But by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we see these signs. Again, not talking politics, we said, look how the affairs turn terribly awful. Verily, the oppressors, they would see what type of a turn their affairs it would take it took a terrible turn alhamdulillah another thing to see that arrogance and an arrogant person allah humiliate them in this life before the hereafter if they don't repent and more, like first and foremost inshallah uh, the farewell or for for hell whatever we want to call it farewell of uh, trump right the f actually this this al-aqsa which is this is qubbat al-sakhra 
This is part of Al-Aqsa Mosque. This will last and ever last us and any arrogant and it will stay the everlasting capital of Palestine, Palestine till the day of resurrection, till the day of judgment by the dignity of those who are dignified or the humiliation of those who are humiliated. So this is just a quick segment. This is just a quick reminder to see and ponder over the signs of Allah, ayatillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wonderful brothers and sisters, let us also realize that he could not, he could not stop the snowball of corruption and destruction when it start rolling, going and growing against the arrogant Trump. Again, you would say, well, he's gone and he's history. We have to learn from history to understand present and to plan for the future. May Allah keep loving you all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect Canada, bless Canada, keep Canada with certain serenity, prosperity, tranquility. You have a good country. We have a good country. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you with peace and give you stability with la ilaha illallah, Muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.